if there's one thing the Famicom needed, it's another game based on the Chinese novel The Romance of Three Kingdoms. But this time, instead of a strategy game, it's a Dragon Quest-style RPG. And if we want to be really technical, it's not actually an adaptation of Romance of the Three Kingdoms. It's an adaptation of an adaptation of Romance of the Three Kingdoms. The Japanese title Tenchi o Kurao could be translated as Devour the World. That was the title used for a comic adaptation of Romance of the Three Kingdoms that ran in Shonen Jump, of course, for roughly a year back in 1984. The comic added supernatural elements to the story. The Romance of Three Kingdoms, of course, is the classic Chinese novel fictionalizing the Three Kingdoms period of Chinese history. That was when the Han Dynasty collapsed into a decades-long series of civil wars. The novel's the basis for more games than I can count, including several strategy games that we've already seen on the Famicom. In Capcom's game version, the player steps into the roles of Liu Bei and his sworn brothers just after they've sworn their oath of loyalty in the Peach Orchard. From there, they set out to recruit an army and defeat enemy generals all across China, eventually finding out exactly who they should and should not pursue. As you're just walking around, you'll really feel the Dragon Quest influences. You have to bring up a menu and that will let you talk to somebody, search the area, change your party formation around, take a look at your status, and use items. Your party starts out with Liu Bei, Guan Yu, and Zhang Fei, but you'll find people all over the world who want to join your righteous cause. Some of them you just walk up to and they'll agree to join, while others might require something a little bit more particular. You can have five active members in your party at once. A sixth person may act as a strategist, letting you use tactics, which are this game's equivalent of magic spells. If you look at the manual, Tenchiyo Kurao dresses up the RPG tropes in strategy game terms, but they're still the same thing. They'll tell you that these people are generals, but really they're just regular characters, and your generals can command a certain number of men, which is really their hit points. If it was the size of their fighting force, why would it increase when they go up in level and recover when they sleep at an inn? You can equip your forces, but really it's just equipment for your general. One thing that is required similar to a strategy game is food for everybody. You'll have to keep track of that and buy more when you're running low. As you wander around the overworld, you'll have random encounters with hostile armies, and these play out as standard RPG battles. You basically pound on them until they run out of hit points, and then move on to the next character. The story in Tenchiyo Kurao is roughly divided up into chapters, and these correspond to major conflicts from Romance of the Three Kingdoms. So it starts out with the Yellow Turban Rebellion, but then you'll move on to fight Dong Zhuo and Yan Shao. Now that said, the forces that you command don't really line up with the Three Kingdoms. Cao Cao can join your side, for example. The beginning of this game is extremely slow. Until you have equipment, the random combats can take over five minutes. And for a game that's supposed to be about big armies and tactics, your options are to fight, run away, defend, or use an item. At least if someone gets defeated, anyone who is targeting them that turn will switch to another random target. Given how little cash you get from battles, and how much you need to equip everybody, you're looking at two to three hours before you're really able to set out. When you're ready to stop playing, Tenchi Okurao has a battery save, though when you load the game, it takes you to the starting location for your current chapter. It's a bit strange that Capcom would choose to make an RPG in 1989 based on a comic that didn't even last a year back in 1984, but the gamble paid off. Tenchi Okurao was a monster hit for Capcom. There's a sequel RPG on the Famicom, and they spun off a series of beat-em-ups. I know it's hard to believe that they take a slow-playing game based on Romance of the Three Kingdoms and spin off a series of beat-em-ups from it, but somehow they did it. As for this Tenchi Okurao game, I wasn't able to make a whole lot of progress in it, 
so it's hard for me to judge. I like the concept, but that combat system seems to be a real clunker. I am kind of curious what they do for the sequel. I'm kind of hoping it's based on one of the other two kingdoms.